here in South America have been casting this region the most, and I, I absolutely understand why Moxie fell in love with the region in, 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 a, in all its generality. Like, when it... Jupiter, there is a sus tree on the back line, and in they turn. Onto the Dombra can double play with the Bounder Strike. That is two on the head. Seba's jumping forward, and Jupiter will take the kill. Three heroes bottom. Trying to get another kill off the rip. Oh, hi. How's it going? We're gonna get caught out and with the magic missile boundless strike onto two this time once again, but this should be the end of the monkey king as the blood grenade. Edo could be in trouble up top. I do see a ping coming out onto the Wind Ranger b -b bound the strike eventually coming out with the Primal Spring as well. Onto Shido they move with a good play coming out. But an eventually hermit once again with the soul assumption. Three soul assumptions. But that will take the Wind Ranger out of play. I mean, he's got two As, more mangoes. Well, hold on, a move down on bottom. The hammer going through with the Starbreaker. Adrian, he's just nailing people down on the bottom lane. Does the Amber a half like HP? Eight. A little bit of a hold and just pull it back. Even though he's got 31 last hits. Oh, with the exchange of the the bit of that bottle refill, but here comes the cavalry, Yamber and GRPX moving in. There's the swashbuckle from Sebas. Hurt anybody? Things pretty much even as Prada will be found out. We'll instantly put out the ink swell, along with the Phantom's Embrace. Out goes the Focus Fire off to Hermit. Beautiful blast off, but in comes the Solar Guardian as well. Adrian saving his carry and healing him up for better or worse as Shido just dodging the pinball machine coming out for us but eventually with the swash buckle turn around they will get the kill Robo-Z jumping in you really need that soul assumption Kill the Void Spirit here in the mid lane. Robo Z trying to escape. We'll get caught out with a magic missile and once again. Almost... Plasma with uh, with numbers in the mid lane. And with this draft, they're able to dive around the limitations of terrain. Yeah, bro. And with a swap onto Adrian, they go goodbye, Mrs. Dawnbreaker at this point. And comes a rolling thunder. Yes, Hermit may die at the top lane, but we're just looking at. The hammer mommy getting ripped apart, and there's no reaction, no TPs in. The Solar Guardian, if you didn't He's standing that in the fountain, what is this shit? <laughs> <laughs> well, how is this allowed? Is this balanced? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Fair uh, balance game. Oh my god, Ice Frog, wake up. Oh, like no, that's it's the wrong game. Cross that out. <laughs> <laughs> it might be allowed in that mobile, but not in this. He's just sitting there. I love it. You will see Techie's character. No, no, he wants he wants Robo Z. He, he wants it so bad. He gets it. Oh, <laughs> oh, he can get the Rangers too. And he instantly turns back into a courier, dude. As either. Actually on the top lane, swap back onto Shido, Magic Missile as well. Rip the redhead a new one as Shido will travel back to the fountain for free. No window at all. I think just called out that ball up perfectly coming out from X5. And like, look at the setup onto Shroud. Instantly comes the reaction from Ember uh, and GRPX. They find Adrian, swap back the Dawnbreaker. Out comes the Wukong's command as the Boundless Strike connects onto the Dawnbreaker. Remnant a little bit onto the monkey as Kiri dives in once again into the fight. They lose the Vengeful Spirit and they do manage to save out the Dawn. There is a Solar Guardian turnaround here somewhere as Shido going in with his Focus Fire onto Sebas. They try to get the Pangolier down, but it doesn't really happen. Onto Hermit they go as the Visage tries to run away. Soul Assumption onto the Techies will get Kiri down as Hermit still surviving despite the Sticky Bomb, but gets shackled to a tree. See the X5 ball up as mentioned, but once again, Shido in trouble i don't believe this hermit keeping up the contact just waiting for the end of the wind run there's the contact onto the wind ranger as the soul assumption one doesn't really do much but round two coming out soon as the familiars make the connection but the magic missile from yambura as the mind negative armor at the end it's gonna be Sebas just jumping in nabbing on that kill as there's a big search coming out for the luna 
but Shroud is on the other side of the map. They're doing Roshan. What a timely rotation, you know. They get that kill and they're able to capitalize off of it immediately. You're gonna get this Roshan kill, probably give it to Pangolier, give it to Luna, and just enable your death ball even further. Robo Z. They're aware. Robo Z jumping in with the ink swell along with assimilate. Stun them all up. Try and take them one by one. Sebas extremely low. We'll put out the rolling thunder. We'll try and get out of the fight as much as possible. But the eclipse coming out from Shroud at the same time trying to hold on. Kiri with the bomb will eventually take out the Pangaliers. Jupiter inside the thick of the Roche pit. They will take out Shroud one by one. X5 is falling with the Wukong's command. Jupiter tries to hold on to the Roshan, there is a big play coming out from the Jingu Mastery wow. and the Wukong, but at the end, it's not going to be a kill. As Hermit, familiar, the last one standing will get taken care of. Plasma with the team wipe on X5. GRP's almost in safe territory. Oh my god, I almost cursed. Claypnir catches have. him with the shackle. They see him. There's the Observer Ward on the cliff. Down should the Monkey King go in with the Battle Strike on to four people, but there's no survival for the Monkey King. As GRP X about to Wukong's command, but he's just baiting me with a spell. As out off the tree he comes, he doesn't want to get caught out, but yeah, Ambera does for sure. Battle Strike on to two as Robos, he just dodges it. Sebus, Ryan roll in, but once again, these familiars resummoning them so that the connection isn't there, but it's a bait. instead gonna get connected to Shroud as now the Luna is in trouble. If they get the carry once again, Plaza in absolute control as Subas all he can do is run as Hermit will just try but the Visage is dead in the water if you take these fights without controlling the Dawnbreaker and you commit two cores uh, you're just gonna get soul bound and solar guardian done and we're, we're gonna see no no Sebas just solo killed by Kiri and this mid lane as the familiars come in, Robo Z is absolutely aware. He instantly turns around with the remnant. As out comes Prada with the Inkswell, makes the connection as well. The Dawnbreaker incoming is Adrian. As on to her midday turn, Shroud with the BKB trying to shake it off, but the Astral Step once again. Another connection onto the Luna. Pull him back just a little bit, but the reach, it's not really there to get Shroud. That's the first time. They're learning. Sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, Dodai, that's the first time I've seen that interaction. Oh my god. It's like a little magical Jupiter's carpet almost. For. He keeps on switching back and forth between the two, but let's glide near it instead. In with the blast off carry. That Gleipnir, as you mentioned, is doing so much work as Hermit. Oh, the sticky bomb connects. The Parasma could save him, and with another swap. Okay, that ensures that the Visage survives. Robo Z initiating on to Shroud here. Gonna mant off the silence. Gotta try it off, but at the same time, here comes Adrian. The Solar Guardian doesn't seem to be able to connect, but nice play with the Gale Force. As actually, it's gonna be another two going down. And there might just get team wiped. Shroud with the BKB will still not be able to shake him off, or can he? Yes, he can. The Luna lives to see another day. As buybacks coming out from Jupiter and Hermit. It's kind of deterring them, but only kind of. This Hermit. Unreal. Silent as the grave. Look for the wraparound, but the remnants. It's zoning the visage pretty hard. Adrian sitting pretty on the high ground. They just lost Aegis. And Jesus on the dead hero. As Robo Z going in with the astral step once again. Ink swell on top of him. But he doesn't really mind. That bit of residual damage coming out. Hermit trying to just soul assumption multiple targets, do some damage, but it's not doing much. How? Adrian just TPs out in front of the entire enemy team there. That's madness. I know they don't have Solar Guardian. We see a smoke up. They're looking for Kiri here. Robo Z is also nearby. Well, they're just eating the bait as Robo Z looking for the turnaround. Here comes the Solar Guardian again. Just diving in, Adrian is back in play as Sebas is stuck inside the enemy. 
plays as Sebas will try and escape with Rolling Thunder, but it doesn't happen as Shroud will also die. And with a pause, one, two dead, and the three gone, they're gonna call the GG 37 to 22. Plasma will execute X5 in game number one as the death ball play, which we predicted, absolutely doesn't happen. The backfire is completely, you know, Plasma, they got smacked in the lanes. Like, they kind of contested it, 